Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania isn't messing around. Issues direct order to the media about what they must do immediately. Although Samantha B, just like Roseanne Barr, is a comedian known for her sometimes vulgar and outlandish humor, this time they have both gone a bit too far. The whole world is pretty much aware of the fact that because of an offensive tweet Roseanne Barr's show reboot was cancelled within hours, even though she apologized. But on her TBS show Full Frontal this Wednesday night B took it upon herself to call our first daughter and presidential adviser Ivanka Trump a feckless CT. First Lady Melania Trump quickly came to her stepdaughter's defense after B's comment. The First Lady's spokeswoman, Stephanie Grisham, responded to the Full Frontal remark on Thursday by saying, The double standard is truly astounding. Time and again the Trump family and members of this administration are subjected to false reporting, hateful rhetoric and outrageous lies all in the name of freedom of speech or comedy, yet the mainstream media stays silent. Later White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders also joined in on the fun and added that the comments by B were vile and vicious. And made it clear that the silence from the media is appalling. She added, her disgusting comments and show are not fit for broadcast. Samantha B also commented on her remarks by saying, I would like to sincerely apologize to Ivanka Trump and to my viewers for using an expletive on my show to describe her last night. It was inappropriate and inexcusable. I crossed a line, and I deeply regret it. Here is the issue. Both comedians messed up and both apologized, but only Roseanne lost her job. Samantha B is still employed. So do you still want to try to convince us the media isn't skewed? And here is more on the Samantha B saga via BizPack review. So much for that apology. Following a statement from Samantha B saying she was sorry for her inappropriate and inexcusable insult of Ivanka Trump, the embattled TBS late night host was back defending herself and lashing out at the Trump administration. The network has been under fire to terminate the so-called comedian for referring to President Donald Trump's daughter as a feckless C during her full frontal show on Wednesday. Condemnation has been pouring in as even the White House weighed in as First Lady Melania Trump's office called out the astounding double standard. That double standard was more clearly seen on Thursday as the Television Academy Honors awarded B for social change by covering the Time's Up and hashtag MeToo movements. This on the heels of ABC firing Roseanne Barr for tweeting what many condemned as a racist comment about former President Barack Obama's senior advisor Valerie Jarrett. The folks at Turner Broadcasting, which also owns CNN, apparently have B's back and she thanked them at the event on Thursday reportedly held at House in Hollywood. You know, the thing is our show is steeped in passion. Every week I strive to show the world as I see it, unfiltered. Sometimes I should probably have a filter. I accept that. I take it seriously when I get it right and I do take responsibility when I get it wrong," B said, according to IndieWire. Our piece attracted controversy of the worst kind, B said, referring to the show's segment about the Trump administration's immigration and border policies which prompted her to call on Ivanka Trump, a feckless CT who needed to do something about her dad's immigration practices. We spent the day wrestling with the repercussions of one bad word, when we all should have spent the day in sense that as a nation we are wrenching children from their parents and treating people legally seeking asylum as criminals," B added. If we are okay with that then really, who are we? But while TBS and the liberal media may turn a blind eye to the appalling double standard they apply to conservatives, it seems some advertisers have already begun severing ties with Full Frontal. But the 48-year-old comedian seemed unrepentant at the awards event. I can tell you. As long as we have breath in our bodies and 21 minutes of airtime once a week, repeats on Saturdays, that we as a show will never stop shouting, about, the inhumanities of this world from the rooftops and striving to make it a better place said B. But in a comedy way. B also thanked her bosses, saying you always have our back and we appreciate that so deeply. It seems while the network and its star may be touting freedom of speech protections, the television academy was more interested in controlling the narrative. The Hollywood Reporter revealed that media attending the event would not be allowed into the reception as a result of today's events involving Samantha Bee, leading to the need to limit access to tonight's activities. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.